This right here is Pokemon Home on the Switch. If you've never used this app before, one of the things it can do that a lot of people are interested in is taking Pokemon from a game like Legends Arceus and moving them into Scarlet and Violet. Now at the time of recording, it is February 15th, meaning that over here in this list, Pokemon Scarlet and Violet cannot be seen. That's because this app on the Switch, as well as on mobile devices, has not been given an update yet to have these games supported. Now even though that is the case, in this video I'll be showing you guys what to do to transfer your Pokemon over to Scarlet and Violet when the update is out. Don't worry if you've never used this app before, I'll keep it as simple as I can for this video. If this video helped you out, please consider liking this video and subscribing, as well as commenting down below what Pokemon did you bring into Scarlet and Violet. Anyways guys, without further ado, let's get right into the video. So first off, I'm going to be showing how to use a other Switch game like Pokemon Legends Arceus. Once you've launched the app for the first time and have set everything up, click on Pokemon right here and you want to make sure up here is selected as your main save file. After you do so, you should see all your Switch games in here and like I said before, you will not see Scarlet and Violet right now, unless if you're watching this video when the update is finally out. So what I'm going to do is click on Legends Arceus, because programmed into Pokemon Scarlet and Violet are really cool Pokemon like the Hisuian Pokemon. As you can see right here in this box on the left, this is my Pokemon home storage and I've deposited Pokemon like Growlithe, Hisuian Arcanine, and Sneasler. Now imagine that this game right here on the right is actually Pokemon Scarlet, for example. You can see down here in the corner, you can actually see the little icon for Legends Arceus. Now just for the point of this video, pretend that's Pokemon Scarlet over there. Go over here to Pokemon Home and press A and just select on any Pokemon you want to bring over and literally just drag and drop. That's all you have to do. And you could go over here to other boxes, like right here, I have a shiny Ursaring. I can just click on him, bring him over right here, and boom. If this is Pokemon Scarlet, I now will have a shiny Ursaring in the game. It's pretty cool. So just press the plus button on your controller and then press save changes and exit and then you're all done. Now that's all pretty self-explanatory, but what if you wanted to do this on older systems, like for example transferring Pokemon from a 3DS? Well lucky for you, it's not actually too difficult, so let me show you real quick. This next part I'm not going to talk about for too long because I already have a video that I recently made about this. So right here as you can see I have my Nintendo Switch right here as well as a 3DS, well technically a 2DS, but right here you can see two apps. The first one right here is Pokemon Bank and the one below is Poke Transporter. Now what's so important about this? Well basically, as you can see right here, Poke Transporter and Pokemon Bank on any 3DS or 2DS will be unavailable starting on March 27th. Now technically at any time you'll be able to get these apps still as long as you have a hacked 3DS, but a lot of people don't. So just in case if you're a person who does not have a hacked 3DS, this part right here is for you. When the eShop shuts down at the end of March, if you do have this installed, it will actually become free because at this time Pokemon Bank does cost money to use. So if you want to transfer Pokemon up, all you have to do is click on use Pokemon Pokemon Bank, and then go over here to any save file that has Pokemon on it. I'm going to click on Pokemon Ultra Sun. Now while this loads up, right here I have my Switch, and you can click on this button that says Move, and over here you can click on Begin Move, and then Transfer Pokemon Up, and I'll show you how. Very important key detail though, even though Pokemon Bank will be becoming free soon, to actually transfer Pokemon Up, you will need Pokemon Home Premium. I know that's kind of annoying, it's really inconvenient, but yeah, money. So down here on Pokemon Sun, I could see some Pokemon. Uh, I have a really boring save file, it looks like. Picky Peck, a Crab Rawler, and a Caterpie, and some random egg. You can select multiple Pokemon at a time, and just go up here and make sure you deposit these Pokemon here in Pokemon Bank, and then you can press X and save. Now at this point, there's only one more step to do to transfer your Pokemon up. So go over here to click on Begin Move, and then click on Yes, do you want to begin? Do all that stuff. You'll be able to create a moving key, but don't do so until you're actually ready on your 3DS as well, because as you can see, it's only valid for three minutes and then that code will expire. So when you're ready, go down to click on move Pokemon to Pokemon Home, so click on that, and then once you do so, you'll be able to click on any boxes that you just readied up. So right here, I have my three Pokemon, they're all trash, but who cares? It'll pop up a code right around here, and there we go. That's all you have to do, press on OK, and then you should see it say it's confirmed, and over here, it'll take only a couple seconds, and there we go. If you want to do any transfers from a game that is much older, Older, like Pokemon Leaf Green or Pokemon Ruby, you'll need to put it in a DS at the same time as a DS game. What I mean by this is that you need to have a DS and at the bottom have your game like Pokemon Leaf Green and then at the top have Diamond, Pearl, or Platinum. If you do have a game at the top and the bottom, you'll be able to go to an area called the Pal Park. In Pokemon Brilliant Diamond and Shining Pearl on the Switch, the Pal Park was actually replaced with an area called, I believe, Romanos Park? It was kind of a weird area, but kind of cool. But anyways, Romanos Park replaced the Pal Park, which was used to transfer Pokemon up from these older games to the DS games. You can transfer six Pokemon per 24 hours, and I know, six Pokemon, it's just one party, it's really low, but that's just what the limitations were back then. So once you actually get your six Pokemon transferred up, and you have them in Gen 4, you need to get them over to Gen 5. Now once you've gotten your Pokemon from a Gen 3 game to Gen 4, like Pokemon Platinum, you need to have this in your system and go on DS Download Play. 
Now in that download play menu, the other game will need to be on Pokemon Black White or Black 2 or White 2. In Gen 5, I believe there's an area called the Poke Transport Lab. It's something like that. I wish I could do all this right now to show you guys actual live footage. I'll be able to put pictures on screen, but I can't get my own footage of it right now. That's about it though. You can get your Pokemon from games like Pokemon Ruby. You can catch your Groudon and now have it in Scarlet and Violet. It's really cool. If this video helped you in any way, make sure to please comment down below what Pokemon you transferred up and like the video and subscribe. Thank you guys so much and I'll see you soon. Peace out.